Hey guys, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick little heat test here, uh, looking at the heat between the M9, M8 and M7 when put under heavy load. So we're going to use the same kind of app that we used last time uh, to stress the devices uh, and work the CPUs to the bone. So. Uh, Let's get uh, it running on all of them. And uh, we can cover them up because they're not waterproof. And we can also give them all something to aspire to, and that is melting the ice cube placed on top of them so uh, we can get them going now looks like the ice cubes are in roughly the same kind of position as you can see uh, and uh, I will speed up the video now just to uh, see when something interesting happens so uh, we're coming to the three minute mark here and uh, we can see that the M9 is heating up quite nicely as we expected to uh, 33 Celsius uh, the M8 is running the coolest at 30 and the M7 is uh, in the middle at 31 uh, so uh, things are proceeding as expected here uh, we can see quite a bit of meltage here of the ice cube on the M9 uh, but we can continue on so uh, we're getting to the 7 minute mark here uh, we can see some significant uh, ice cube meltage here coming from the M9 uh, and that would be due to the significantly higher temperature here as you can see it's going up there to 37.7 uh, versus 33 on the M8 and 35 on the M7 hopefully the M won't heat up anymore I don't want it to melt my table uh, but you can definitely see the ice cubes are actually moving on both the M9 and the M8 a bit so I might have to move it in the middle if it goes a bit too far off the phone but uh, you can see some significant meltage there uh, and uh, hopefully it uh, will get to a certain point and then won't heat up anymore but so far no crashes which is good uh, the G Flex 2 when I did this it did crash twice so they all look uh, quite solid and stable so uh, we're getting to the uh, 17 minute mark here uh, and as we can see we're getting significant leakage here on the uh, M8 as well as the M7 but don't let the M9 fool you it is the one that is actually running the hottest here at 42 uh, Celsius versus 36 on the M8 and 39 on the M7 part of the reason why you can't see much leakage here is because most of it came off uh, and I did have to wipe it up kind of thing luckily this is waterproof though so uh, it's not going to harm the phones but this is definitely melting at a faster rate uh, because of the 42 hopefully it won't go up any higher <laughs> I don't want it to reach 50 or something so uh, we're at the 25 minute mark here and uh, we can see the ice cubes are certainly not winning here uh, and uh, it's quite strange really because the M8 or the M9 should I say is just hit 45 Celsius uh, whereas the M8 is on 37 and the M7 is on 39 so I would expect the uh, M9 to have melted the ice cube by now 
uh, but it does look like the M9 uh, M9's ice cube looks uh, relatively solid uh, and uh, you can see here for yourself the temperatures uh, so it's still going up with the M9 I wonder where it will actually stop and it looks like we have a winner so it's the uh, M8 which uh, melted the ice cube first but it makes no logical sense at all because as we can see here the temperature is actually the lowest on the M8 versus the highest on the M9 which is at 45.5 now uh, and the M7 is uh, maxing out about 40 and it's just about melted its ice cube, you can see a little bit there but uh, M9 still has quite a bit of ice cube there which is really weird but uh, I think uh, it's still going up as well as you can see 45.7 so I'll just run the video now until it melts the ice to see uh, where it does stop and uh, then uh, wrap things up quite nicely and it looks like we're finished so uh, all of them have uh, removed the ice cubes off themselves and uh, we're at the 34 minutes mark here uh, it looks like the M7's bottomed out at about 40 uh, whereas the M8 bottomed out about 39 which is very nice uh, and the M9 hasn't really moved from 45.7 so it is uh, you know uh, running the hottest there according to the statistic uh, but obviously the ice cube didn't uh, really represent that so quite interesting results though there I think that does confirm though that uh, the M9 does run quite hot and I'm not doing this test to make it look like a bad device obviously not everyone will walk around you know stress testing the hell out of it but I think some people might be interested particularly those who you know looking at the hardcore gaming or multitasking uh, you know in hot countries and things like that that might uh, you know lessen the life of the phone so uh, quite an interesting result here nevertheless and none of them crashed which is good so uh, they're all quite stable it seems uh, but yeah, just a quick little test here of the heat output of these three devices. Hope you found it informative. Uh, and if you did, leave a like. That would be great. And I'll see you very shortly. Cheers. Wow. Feels hot. That is a hot mama. Yes, you'll feel that in your pocket. This one feels a bit cooler. This one feels quite hot as well. Hmm. Interesting.